Hello, America. It is a big day for you this weekend. 267 years old. 245. Sorry, you do look a little rough around the edges. It's been a hard year for all of us. And in lieu of traditional gifts, I just wanted to take this opportunity to post a video to make you feel very special. And I know what you're thinking, you represent that country that didn't want us to have any birthdays. And that's very true. I can't escape my country's past. I mean, after all, I was just a kid when you got independence. Yeah, it's true. I am 251 years old. That's a lie. But what isn't a lie is that Britain and America have made peace since then. Heck, we've even formed a special relationship. And think of all of the gifts that we've given you in that time, right? The Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Queen. I knew you'd bring up Ed Sheeran. Look, we don't always get it right, but when we do, we're a bloody good friend. And some might argue that in me, my country sent you the greatest British import of all time, although we are on the phone to David Beckham's lawyers. And when I say that some people are saying that, I'm talking about my mum. The point is, America, as we celebrate your birthday weekend, I, as a kind of unofficial British ambassador, am proof of the special relationship. After all, I've lived in you for 13 years. Do you think I'd live here that long if I didn't think you were special? You are special. So special, in fact, that I want to seek out every inch of you. That came out wrong. What I meant was, I really, really want to explore you using Google Maps. Because America, what I've seen of you so far, I really like. You know, not in a blind date time way, but in a human appreciating geology type way. And as the flags fly this weekend and we all take the time to appreciate this country and this experiment, I'll be thinking back on some of the times that you and I have shared together. <laughs> Anyway, all joking aside, please enjoy this weekend, right? After all, you only get one birthday a year, unless you're the Queen, 
or unless you're America, because technically your independence from us was not officially recognised until September 3rd, 1783, which does make it easier for you to lie about your age. But for the sake of argument, let's say that your birthday is July the 4th, or as you would say, 4th of July. Isn't that weird? How America usually goes with the month first and then the day second, but has made an exception for their date of independence from a country that most decidedly goes day first, month second. It's almost like you've done it on purpose to stick it to us. And, and in that respect, you deserve Ed Sheeran. But that's that's all in the past, right? That's water under the bridge. Let's let's ignore those people that say America is a cancer, right? Because I don't believe in star signs. What I do believe in is you. You've given me a good home, a good base from which to springboard my career. A magnificent series of terrain on which to feast my eyes. I've just realized I'm still making this about me. It's your birthday and we celebrate you. I've got the book, I've got the map, I've got the Route 66 sign that I picked up in a museum in Bloomington, Illinois, and I've also got a set of wheels, and it is a Prius, but it gets you to where you want to go, and where I want to go is any zip code in America, except Walmart, because I got lost. And I'd just like to finish this video by wishing you a happy birthday, and a big thanks to you and all of your people for making me feel welcome all these years, and by way of reminding you that Britain isn't all bad, Canada gave you Nickelback. So there you go, America. Happy birthday.